there be a special place with treasure aplenty? Grab your map and set sail for a journey like no other. Pirates! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! I be Pastor Marilyn, and I am so excited to be on this voyage with you. I know last week we talked about how Jesus was born, and Captain McGreedy and Walker, they went to the place, Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, and they looked at that. And this week we're going to be talking about how when Jesus was a man, he actually was getting his crew together. He called them disciples, but we'll call them crew because this is pirate stuff. So he was getting those, his crew together, and these were special men that were his closest friends, and he taught them all about God and all about how to minister and to help other people learn about God. And that was really a cool thing. So we're going to learn more about that in a little while. But before we do that, let's go ahead and sing some fun songs. So everybody get up and let's sing. Yo, ho, away. Raise the sails, go out to sea And find the treasure buried deep We know it doesn't need a key It lives inside of you and me Good news, better than gold Better than anything you've been told Yo ho, God gave his son This good news is for everyone Yo ho, away we go Let's raise the sails, go out to sea, and find the treasure buried deep. We know it doesn't need a key, it lives inside of you and me. Good news! Good news, better than gold, better than anything you've been told. Yo ho, God gave his son, this good news is for everyone. Good news, better than gold.
Okay, you guys are really sounding like a real crew now. You know what? And crews have codes. And so we've been working on a code. Well, it's a Bible verse, but we're gonna call it a code because we're doing pirate stuff. We've been working on our code and it's a Bible verse. And so get ready to do it with me. I bet you guys are getting good at it. So here we go. Treasure is kept in clay jars. In the same way, we have the treasure of the good news in the, these earthly bodies of ours. 2 Corinthians 4, 7a. Fantastic job. Now, I don't know about you, but I am so excited to find out what Captain McGreedy and Walker are up to. So get ready for the 15 second countdown. Here we go. being back on the water. It's good for me so. I wish I could say the same thing about me, Captain Underpants. But to be honest, I'm just so bored. So bored here on the water. There's no putt-putt golf. There's no crazy twisty slide. I miss my family and the super cool cruise we were supposed to be on. Walker, how many times do I have to be telling you, matey? My name is Captain McGrady, and I'm starting to think that you may have a little bit of water in your ears or something. If I had water in my ears, at least something would be full. Right now, my belly just feels so empty. I feel like I'm wasting away. Man, does it even look like my muscles are turning inside out? I'm just so hungry. Oh, that fear reminded me, Walker. I think it might be snack time. Can I, can I please have just a little bit? Well, all right. Oh, wow. Man, there is so much stuff in here. Wow, this is crazy. Man. Uh, it tastes so good, it's so fresh. It's like you, you picked it right off the apple tree. Oh, well, yes. It's sure be, ho I sure be hoping that it's fresh. Because it'd be back from that market in Bethlehem that we went to. You went to the market in Bethlehem? Oh, yes. I sent a young lad to pick up a few things for us to have on our long journey. Yeah. And you know, Walker, I've been feeling something different in my brain, but mostly inside me heart. Because I've been hearing about God's love for me and his gift of Jesus. Well. I don't know what's going on in your brain or your heart, but it sure is good for me. Man, my stomach is jumping for joy with all this amazing food. Oh, I'm so glad, Walker. You know, Walker, 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 I just gotta admit, you're starting to be more and more like me first mate, eh? It might be time for ye to be learning the pirate code. The pirate code? Yes, the pirate code. It's what every pirate lives by but it'd be kind of long. Why would we follow a pirate's code when we have the map right there? Oh, yes, the map. Oh. I see where we're at. We've, we've traveled up the Jordan River and now we're in the Sea of Galilee. It looks like we're gonna be making port soon. Oh. That should be in, I think it's gonna be in that direction. Oh, Walker, I need you to get us some more supplies. Now, scat on with you. Go get some more supplies for us. Go on, please. Hmm, there'll be something very familiar about this here port here in Galilee. I is pretty sure I've never sailed in it before, but I'm wondering why we are arriving here. Ahoy, me hearties. Galilee be one of the most beautiful places in all of Israel. There were many special things that took place here. As a young pirate boy, I'd be hearing many a true story about Jesus who lived in this town and walked along these shores. It was here that I'd be learning how Jesus called men to be a part of his crew. One day, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. He called out to some fishermen, hey, come follow me. He saw Simon Peter and Andrew both that day. They dropped their nets and followed him without much delay. Going on from that place, Jesus found two more. James and John dropped their nets, giving Jesus four. Jesus would turn them into fishers of men. They would tell everyone how Jesus could save them from their sin. 
Eight more followed Jesus with his crew. They were Philip, Thomas, and Bartholomew. Plus Matthew, James, and Thaddeus. Simon and Judas came without a fuss. These 12 men knew something we all should. Jesus had news of God's love, and it was very good. After following Jesus, the disciples learned his ways. Now we can follow him, and from his map, we won't stray. God's plan was for Jesus to show how much he loved the world. As Jesus' crew followed him, they began to love and care for others the way that Jesus did. As I heard more about the amazing things Jesus did, I knew I needed to be a part of his crew and that Jesus is who I need to follow. You know, I always be doing the leading. I just never be following until this map came me way. It seems I can't help but to follow this map and wherever it leads me. And there's just something special about this place. Well, blow me down. I used to be starting to think that following Jesus is the pirate way to be. I followed your orders, Captain McCready. Here are the supplies. Wow. My goodness, you know what, Walker? I just had the best thought of me mind has ever thought of. I realize that this special place is the special place where Jesus be calling his crew. And he asked them to follow him, and he told people about God's love. Maybe if I follow Jesus, I could learn how to be a better pirate captain, and I could actually get me a crew who won't be leaving me marooned on the island. Does that make sense there, Walker? Aye, if that be what you believe in, be true and good. Well, blow me down. Ye be following my orders. Ye be thinking I is the captain to be following. Ye even be starting to talk like me. Aye, I be believing if I be here, I be following you wherever you lead. Unless you think I be ready to promote, Captain McGreedy. You finally remembered my name. Maybe you don't have seawater in your ears after all. Well, now that we've got our supplies and I's got me treasure key right in me pocket, we'll be ready to set sail. We's got to be following Jesus now, and me map be showing us the way, Walker. We'd best be pulling anchor uh, and hoisting the wheels. Our next stop is Land Ho. And away we go. Away we go in a yo-ho-ho. About that. I thought for sure they were going to find gold, but it looks like Walker and Captain McGreedy actually have found something much better than gold. So we're going to look up the verse and find out a little bit more about that. So pause your video and go ahead and grab your Bible. So go figure out where your Bible is and just grab it real quick and bring it back. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The books about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Let it blow up all the pages, let this show go live. Let his word explode from this video into your life. All right, good to see you back. I hope you got your Bibles. Now we're going to be looking at the book of Matthew this uh, week. And Matthew is the very first book in the New Testament. So you could go to your table of contents, which is in the beginning of your Bible, and you look under New Testament. And that's going to be the very first book in the New Testament is Matthew. So then you can see what page it's on, or you can just flip back until you find Matthew. Um, we're going to be looking at Matthew 4. So you're going to look for those big numbers. Uh, the big numbers in my Bible happen to be orange. Yours might be black or some other color. But you're going to look for the 4. So you're going to look through there until you find that big 4. So that'll be Matthew 4. We call those the chapters, and then we're going to look at the verse. The verses we're going to look at are 18 through 22. So you're going to look, 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 look until you find that little tiny 18. Little tiny 18. Mine says, the calling of the first disciples. 
So we're going to look for that little tiny 18. And if you need help from somebody there at the house, just go ahead and ask them. You can pause the video for a little while if you need to. But we're going to find that 18. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of time there. And then let's start reading the 18. And we're going to go all the way to the 22, which with mine ends in that section. So it goes like this. As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Now we're going to look at the second verse up, just because this is important. Uh, this is when Jesus was calling his disciples, and these were some of his disciples, but then we're going to look at another verse that tells us who the rest of his disciples were. So we're going to go from that big four in chapter four, and we're going to go back until we find chapter 10. So keep flipping keep flipping. Mine's about four pages away, and I found that big 10. So you can find that big 10. Again, you can pause if you need to for more time. And once you find that big 10, we're going to read one through four. So one is the very beginning of that chapter. Mine doesn't have a little one there. Uh, yours might, but mine doesn't. So we'll do one and until we read number four. And here, here's what it says. He called his 12 disciples to him, and gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, son, James, James is the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. So those are the 12 disciples. Those were his closest friends that went with him all over the place, and he taught them. He taught them all about who God was and how they could minister about God to other people. So that's the, our Bible verses for today. Now I need you to pull out your map, the Sea of Galilee on the map. That's where he first met those first disciples was at the Sea of Galilee. So let's look at the map. And when you look at the map, you're gonna look kind of up toward the top and there's this little tiny oval and it's kind of yellow colored and that's the Sea of Galilee. So that's where Jesus first met some of those disciples is that in that Sea of Galilee right there. So when Jesus went to these men and he said, I want you to be my disciples and I want you to follow me, they were willing to follow him. And when they're following him, they're learning from him. They're learning how to be loving and caring. And when we choose to follow Jesus, he also teaches us. He teaches us how to be loving. He teaches us how to be caring. He teaches us how to be generous. And you know what I think? I think Captain McGreedy is going to start learning how to do this more and more as he learns to follow Jesus because the thing that he is learning this week and the thing that we need to learn this week is Jesus is who I need to follow. So over the weeks, we've been learning about the Bible stories and these true Bible stories. And these Bible stories that we've been talking about have taken place in Israel. And that's where Captain McGreedy and Walker have been sailing. And what they've been learning is they've learning to follow Jesus. And we want to follow Jesus too. We want to learn. And one of the ways that you could do that is you could read some more of those stories in the Bible. And you could maybe even think about what if I was on a voyage and I was going to these places and I could see these places and just think about that as you're reading those stories, it'd be really fun. I'm excited for you to be able to be learning more about this and excited for what we're gonna learn next week from Captain McGreedy and Walker. But before we do that, I wanna be able to pray with you. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for helping us to learn to follow you, for being able to be there for us and to teach us to be more loving and caring and to help others to be able to find out who you are and how much you love them. We just want you to guide us and direct us on the voyage that we call life. We just praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, have a great week and we will see you later. <music>